One of the cool things about my job uh, is it affords me the ability to be outside a lot. And one of the biggest reasons why I'm outside a lot is I'm often in places uh, people don't go very often um, or haven't been in a long, long time. And that's pretty indicative of the places I go and, and uh, the type of areas I see, uh, which is why it's always important to have a four-wheel drive. Uh, I've always been a truck person, still, I guess, kind of am. Uh, despite some mechanical issues, though, I've, I've had this Jeep Wrangler uh, for quite some time, and it being much shorter than my trucks and uh, a little more compact. And obviously, Jeep has an excellent four-wheel drive system, and if it is the only thing in the Jeep that works correctly most of the time. Uh, kind of a good solid choice for places like this. <laughs> Likely this is side by side, maybe four wheeler travel, uh, more so than it's um, obviously vehicle travel like this. Um, this will get you to some places where you can see some cool stuff, you know, and, and sometimes it'll lead to a point where you can leave your vehicle behind and get to some undisturbed areas which is kind of the goal uh most of the time when i'm on my free time occasionally it'll give you some amazing views too um you know even from your vehicle so i'm gonna go on up this one and kind of see where it goes still very much uh going on uh, it's in a pretty flat area right now too i've actually walked this numerous numerous times from both the bottom up and the top down um but it's kind of cool to drive it and see what kind of access it had there uh now there's some stuff on one end of this i'm not real sure where it's going to put me at but as i go on up the road is actually getting a little better I have to put the windows up one of the problems with having a vehicle that uh the tires are way too wide uh, it slings mud everywhere, including inside the cab, which is not fun. Uh, this is a much more established road on this upper side, uh, and it's been worked recently. But I know there's some construction work going on up in this area, so that's why. You'll run across various different types of roads out in the hills, uh, in close to inhabited areas, whether it be mine access or something like this, way too small to be mine access, obviously, or what they call fire trails, uh, stuff to get into and fight forest fires, old established roads. Uh, private landowners will have established roads and stuff. Uh, logging roads, tons of logging roads. And based on the fact that a bunch of trees got cut down and nothing's been fixed back, I would assume this is logging. Most other industry, like I said, they're getting watched and, and you know, they have inspection and stuff. And that may be true in, in the logging industry in other places. It may be true in the logging industry where you're from. But where I'm at, it's not generally what's happening. Oh, man. 
man. Uh, told people before, I hate snakes. And that is a copperhead right in there. It's moving up. He just moved out of the way. Dead trees. Dead trees. Uh, havens for snakes. Upon reviewing the footage for this video, I realized I had lost the actual recording that was the end of the video. I don't, I don't have it anymore. Um, it's just a fun video uh, for me to do, just kind of showing, driving, and I'll do that in different areas, probably more as time goes on, uh, give you more of a, an idea of the type of places I go and stuff like that. Um, the idea on this channel is have fun. You know, I, I do a lot of stuff outdoors, record that, but there'll be a lot of other stuff. There may be music stuff on here, uh, any type of stuff. Uh, the biggest thing is trying to get better at the filming end of it. And I know it's kind of amateurish the way I do some things, uh, but it's like losing that. You know, this is an old cell phone full of storage, got plenty of room. So those were recorded on, the videos you just seen were recorded onto this phone um, <clears throat> through an app called Double Take. Because uh, I liked what it offered me and then sent to this phone, uh, which is my main phone. And I also have this phone, which I put some stuff on. Uh, it's got some issues, though. Uh, I've got some mics with me, some um, camera stands. Um, so I'm trying to get better at that because there's other stuff I want to do, like the the uh, short little documentaries I've been looking at making. And then a short film that... Uh, my son and I actually had already filmed some segments for with the help of a buddy named Joey uh, who the drone footage at the big opening of these episodes he shot that drone footage um, and then a buddy named Goose and I do a podcast with who's actually got some film experience and done some stuff in the past so I didn't want to just leave that video off uh, with nothing there because I was editing it to try to get you know a little more content to get up and put out and um as I was editing, I realized, oh no, the, the last two clips are gone, which unfortunately I got stuck in one of those, and it wasn't anything major and had to back back out, but um, it was, it, I would like to have had it left in there, and I went back and, and um, looked for it, and I, I couldn't find it off somewhere between the switch between here and there, but uh, like, subscribe, share, you know, comment, whatever, and uh, thank you very much for, for watching these.